Senior X30 Heat 3 about to make their way onto the circuit. Let's have a look then at the grid and how they're going to line up. Christian Brooks will start on pole position with um, Joe Charlton. Uh, yeah, indeed, Joe Charlton is joining us on this week. I, I've not seen his name yet so far this, uh, this weekend. Uh, Jake uh, Yanagasawa and Alex Johnson on row number two. Stefan Abika and Mason Veer on row number three. Thomas Fleming and Jordan Brown. Remy Gilbert and Kean Gohill. Hugo Gilbert and Lucas Ellingham. Let's see if we can have a better race this time around. Luke Taylor and Brandon Matchell uh, are on 13th and 14th place. Jude Farenho and Thomas Reddy on 15th and 16th. Daniel Hackett and Miles Nathaniel James, 17th and 18th. Alex Moody and Harvey Ryby. Vishal Patel, Sam Heading, Benjamin Southgate and Ellis Boucher on the 23rd and 24th place spots. Jensen Buckingham and Ben McDowell. Harry Torpy and Paul Simard on 28th and 20, uh, 27th and 28th. Uh, Oliver Henwood and Tom Ryan round out the 30 cart grid. Are we going green? First time of asking. Yes, we are. Green flags out. Good start from Christian Brooks. Alex Johnson as well. Good start. They eke out of Crook and Oblivion up the hill. Now they go three abreast into the breaking zone of Christmas Corner. Everyone concertina is up, closes up as well. And everyone through that first half of the track nicely in towards Ashby. And again, everyone out of Ashby, all nice. I just don't want to say anything. Yeah, no, <laughs> you just want to hold oh, your breath. Yeah, there, there, we there, go. it goes. <laughs> there it goes. The oh, 91 was our first victim, so Thomas Reddy. He certainly wasn't ready for that move. And round he goes. Back here at the front, though, Christian Brooks leads the way. As they come back to the start-finish line, Alex Johnson, Thomas Fleming, the number three, up into third. Remy Gilbert, Jake Yanagasawa, Jordan Brown, Hugo Gilbert, Lucas Hellingham. Much better start this time around. He did lose a position on that last lap, but he's still there in eighth place. Brandon Matchell, Harvey Ryby, Jude Farenhout, Miles Nathaniel James, the top 12. LJC in the chat said, where's the crash? Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we didn't want to say anything, just in case we commentate, discuss them, and even without saying anything, there was still one crash, but only one crash? I guess that's an improvement. There it is, Jude Farenhoe, though, with the contact warning, number 53 in 11th place, five and a half minutes to go, break away from the top three. Fourth to eighth, also scrapping. Contact warning for Oliver Henwood as well, the 17. Uh, he's just dropped several positions. So he's in 21st place at the moment. Oh, look at that screw. That shows how hard it is under braking. You see their arms move there when they yep. hit the brakes. The forces that go through these carts is immense. And down the inside will go Alex Johnson and Christian Brook. Get that jo uh, job done. Fleming wants to get this move done as well. He wants to get past, of course, the number three seeded driver from the British Championship. And it's third in this class last year for the British Car Championships and uh, sporting that number three again this year. This time on the Lando Norris chassis. Well, I was racing with Dan Holland Racing last year, but uh, obviously Dan Holland Racing, one of the supplier for that one. So, uh, incident in Ashby at yeah. the moment. So, uh, potential for a Battenberg flag there to come go. out. And there it is. Uh, Battenberg flag has happened. So, so uh, we didn't see the incident, but we'll try and update you once we do know a bit more information. Yep, so uh, carts that time that didn't cross the line. Daniel Hackett and Oliver Henwood, but again, don't know who is involved. And a red, red flag, flag has come go. out onto the circuit. So we'll get an update for you as and when we receive it. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like an incident at the Ashby hairpin. Uh, potentially two carts involved and the t two carts who have not crossed the line are uh, Daniel Hackett and Oliver Henwood. But uh, again, we'll confirm who the drivers are who are involved. Uh, who are been reported that both drivers are out of the carts and they're sitting on the tyre wall. But a red flag, the first red flag of the weekend. Yep. And uh, these drivers will come to a stop at the designated area. Well, red flags come up on the timing screen, but uh, still a uh, Battenberg flag is out. Yep. So let's so, wait and uh, see. And they come around again. It doesn't sound like they've stopped, does it? Doesn't sound like they've stopped, does it? Um, but all the timing it says red. We'll come just, up with we'll red just flag. Wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens once we get some more information. But yeah, as you say, it's taken this long to actually get to a to, get to a red flag. Hmm. It took us a lot less time in round one. So uh, uh, improving on that front. As no, they they definitely haven't stopped with the red flag. So it's still a Battenberg out on a track. 
And uh, yeah, we'll wait to hear more information on the drivers. We're glad to hear that they're out and all, uh, all okay sat on the tyres. Wait for a definite confirmation on all of that when it comes through to us. But uh, yeah, this, the, the front three were getting quite a nice gap out front, weren't they? Relatively working together, getting a nice gap. But um, that's obviously closed them all back up now. And here we go. They are the coming pits. into the yeah. So it is a red flag. It uh, is indeed. They are coming to the pit lane. Mm -hmm. First flag, red flag of the weekend. Joins, it comes to us in the Senior X30 Heat 3. Again, still unsure of the two drivers who are involved. Uh, we do have a potential of yeah, it possibly being uh, Daniel Hackett and Oliver Henwood, but we won't confirm that no. until we get a confirmation of that. Uh, for, uh, Tom, Tom just says, can you replay the crash? But I, I'll answer that question, Tom, for you. In the world of motorsport, yeah. a replay will only come out when we can confirm that the yes. drivers are okay. At really this time being, we can't confirm that they are, so no. Ah, there it is, 17 and 44. It was Daniel Hacken, Oliver Henwood, uh, both drivers up and out. Uh, and <laughs> the one uh, behind, quite muddy on the top. That's mm. never a good sign for a cart. But yes. uh, yeah, glad to see both drivers walking away. That's always good. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, now, I'm not sure if this race is being restarted or... Yeah, the drivers have all pulled off, haven't they? They so, have. Mm. Usually they would stop them on the circuit. Uh, but they've not come back out, so we'll, we'll see if we can find out uh, from that in uh, just a moment. But you can see everyone there watching from the sidelines as the uh, track staff, of course, lots of track staff out there, uh, nine marshals in total out the circuit supporting uh, the grid. I think we can assume that they're not going to go back out, mate. It, yeah, they're going back on trolleys, aren't they? So uh, looking like that race is not going to resume.